does a helmet do? It covers the head. What's in the head that's critical? The brain. What does the brain need for it to do its job? The mind. So when the Bible talks about the helmet of salvation, it's talking about controlling our thoughts, controlling what penetrates our mind that informs our brain that causes what we do to be executed in our lives. It's called the helmet of salvation. Since he's already writing to Christians when he says the helmet of salvation, he's not talking about going to heaven, he's talking about decision making on earth. God wants to control your identity. He wants to control your thinking. He wants to control my thoughts because his thoughts are not my thoughts. And my thoughts are not his thoughts. As high as the heavens are above the earth, Isaiah 55 says, verse 11, so that much gap exists between God's thinking and our thoughts. And so he wants us to link into his thinking for the purpose of deliverance. You see, the word salvation means to be delivered. We're delivered in eternity from eternal judgment, but God wants us to be delivered in time from satanic attack and defeat. And to be delivered in time, helmet of salvation, you have to have your head right. And that's why the Bible calls it in Romans 12 2, the renewing of the mind. Second Corinthians chapter 10, verse five, says that God wants us to dismantle every thought that goes against the rule of Christ in our lives unto obedience to Christ. So the helmet of salvation means I'm going to learn consistently and progressively to think God's thoughts after Him. And as I think God's thoughts after Him and inculcate that thinking as a way of living, then I find myself being delivered because now I am moving in sync with God because my mind is right. You see, many Christians, even though they're saved for heaven, have a secular mind, or what the Bible calls a carnal or fleshly mind. They're thinking like mere men, 1 Corinthians 3 says. So they're not thinking God's thoughts, they're thinking human thoughts, even if they sprinkle a little Jesus over it to make it sound spiritual. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians 2 that we are to think spiritual thoughts based on spiritual words. So you go to God's word, learn what he says, make those your thoughts, and then you just put on a helmet. In football, they wear a helmet because they're getting hit. Satan is hitting us. He doesn't want us to have spiritual concussions or brain damage. He wants us to be able to think clearly based on the truth of God.